say, oh, I'm not going to cheat. They're not going to do that. Okay. So if people are honest during dating, most people would never even make it to courtship. Okay. This whole thing of dating, opening up to somebody, giving someone your everything and hoping it turns into something is not how it's supposed to go. Okay. Dating should really be mostly talking, not sleeping together, not cuddling and not creating trauma bonds. This mm. is why y'all can't stop fucking your ex now. Okay. Cause y'all don't sat there and got all attached and did all that and didn't even know what the end game was now. That's why you can't have a healthy relationship. That's why you can't be faithful because you got all these bonds with all these people you dated. So now let's now y'all Jada Pinkett has been capping like a mug. Let Jada tell it. Oh, Tupac was obsessed with her. Tupac asked her to marry him, baby. Jada Pinkett got ate up by a white girl. I'm going to play this. I'm also going to change my battery out while this plays. But this is some tea right here. Jada's lying and I have the timeline to prove it. And I'm literally in the middle of moving. That's why I look raggedy, but I cannot handle these fucking lies anymore. Jada is currently on her pay attention to me tour and she is making all these wild claims, including that Tupac proposed to her while he was at Rikers. Really? The math isn't mathing. So let's take a look. Tupac was convicted of sexual assault charges on February 8th, 1995. From there, he was sent to Rikers prison only to be transferred less than a month later to Clinton Correctional Facility. And she specifically said she went to see him. This was not on the phone. Look, when I go to see him in Rikers, probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in and having to leave him there. Cool. So prior to going into Rikers, Tupac already had a girlfriend named Keisha. He proposed to Keisha her words in a September 2011 interview. He proposed to Keisha before he even went into prison. They were already engaged. They got married in April. And in the time that he got sentenced and was taken to prison, Keisha actually moved closer to be by him and be by the prison and saw him on a near daily basis. When he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. So you're telling me that in the three to four week window that he was at Rikers engaged to another woman who had moved closer to the prison and was there almost every day, Tupac proposed to Jada. But hey, Jess, you might be saying to yourself, Tupac wasn't known to be a one woman man. He was, he was no angel. Fair enough. Let's see where Jada was during February of 1995, which was, as we've already established, the only time she would have been able to see Tupac at Rikers since he was only there for less than a month. You see, Jada had already met Will Smith in 1994 on the set of Fresh Prince for Bel-Air, but Will Smith was married, so nothing happened between them. But in February of 1995, Will Smith was served divorce papers by his wife. Five days later, on February 19th, Will called Jada and said, are you single? And she said, yep. Will said, we're together now. Jada said, cool. And she immediately flew to L.A., she flew so immediately that when he called her, she was in Maryland at a brand new house she bought, and she never spent a single night in her new house. That's how immediately she flew to L.A. Jada's lying, and I have the timeline to prove it, and I'm literally in the middle of moving. That's why I look raggedy, but I can't. Oh, damn, where's part two? Hold on, y'all. Damn, where the part two went? Hold on. It's a part two? I think so, because that said part one. It got to be a part oh, okay, two. Okay, that's true. That's true. Oh, damn. My bad, y'all. I didn't realize. Ah, what a part two. Jada, you, you got some explaining to do, Jada. Jada, come on now. And then Why these memes are taking me out, too. Did you see the memes of her in the car with oh two cars and Shug? Yes. I've been, like, just dying. Me man, her in the car with Shug, with Shug <laughs> Night Dam, and, man, that had me on the floor. Like, like the y'all made a line for clout, baby. The internet, come on, the internet is undefeated. Okay. Undefeated. I think, think this is the part two. That time, did you visit Tupac at Rikers? Jada, when in all that time? Let's look at this. Okay. So she's saying that Tupac proposed to her when he was at Rikers. All right. Now, this says 
On February 8th, 1995, Tupac was convicted of S.A. and sentenced. February 14th, he sent to Rikers. February 19th, Will Smith calls Jada in Maryland to make the biggest mistake of his life. <laughs> The shade, the shade. Oh my God, but it's so true. It's like, so he accurate. had no idea. He really did. Um, so February 19th, <laughs> Will Smith calls Jada to Maryland to make the biggest mistake of his life. February 19th through the 20th, Jada flies to Hollywood. So the only time he would have been able to Proposed to her was what between February 15th and February 18th? <laughs> yeah. So let's just continue. Let's, let's continue. Did you visit Tupac at Rikers and get this fucking proposal? And for the record, Keisha and Tupac stayed married for about 10 months. They got their marriage annulled about four or five months after Tupac was released from prison. He was bailed out by Suge Knight. It wasn't long after that that he met Kadada Jones. Kadada Jones is the daughter of legendary Quincy Jones. Kadada looks a little recognizable. You may know her sister, Rashida Jones, who played Karen on The Office. Kadada and Tupac were living together and engaged when Tupac was shot and killed. Kadada was the one that was there with him at the hospital the night he died. Kadada was handed his bloody clothes. She was the one who told him, we all love you, before he slipped into a coma and never woke up. Keisha spoke with Tupac several days before he died because even though they their marriage was annulled, they still remained good friends. And I can't help but notice that all of the women who are actually part of his life in a meaningful way are the ones that have just kept quiet. They've kept silent. They've kept their memories to themselves and not tried to use a dead man as their limelight. And oh. the person who's squawking about him the most is making claims that can't even be verified and don't make sense from the perspective of a verifiable timeline. I see why we love you. <sighs> he needed a rock. Because of our friendship and because of everything we had been through together, he just wanted to feel that solidified foundation. Because so many people in that position don't have support. Right. None at all. None. You know? He and, got the best. Uh, he did get the best, but not from Jada, because per Will Smith's own words, that him and Jada were pretty much humping all over the world. They were traveling. The first three or four months were as wild, romantic, where our bodies could have possibly handled. Oh, so basically, Jada put that thing down, flipped it, and reversed it on Will. <laughs> okay, Jada must got that motherfucking... <laughs> got so basically, Will is saying that, you know, they went traveling around and see, they probably just had a whole dopamine bond mm -hmm. of some sort on there. You know, anyway, this is so funny to me. Traveling constantly from the time, the first three months they were together all over the world. So Tupac did get some great support, I imagine, from his wife who moved closer to be with him and visited him every day and why do i care because i'm gen x and like any good gen x person i grew up on tupac we all remember this going down we all remember where we were when we heard that tupac got shot or that he died we all had this fucking hat from poetic justice walking we now hold on now this might be a down white girl or something but hold on white hold girl on, karen. No hold on karen when did you have a poetic justice hat karen yeah, come on now, sis. Now, wait a minute now. Now, we got the box you. braids attached to the hat. Yeah, come on now. She talking about we, 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 we. Hold on. This ain't making no sense to me. You're all looking like newsies slinging newspaper about the Great Depression and FDR. And we're all just sitting here watching Jada spout these lies being like, do you think no one remembers? Because we all remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers, Jada. Jada, when? In all that time, did you? So let me get this straight. She doing all that talking and lying. So you running your mouth doing all that and not even telling the truth. 
and you got exposed by a white girl. Damn. You got exposed and ate up by a white girl, man. Wow, it gets no worse girl. than that. It gets no worse than that, really. You know, it really does get worse than that, unfortunately. It does. Here you are, Jada, out here. You're still married to Will, but you're all over the interwebs talking about your love that you that you had and you shared with the dead man. I mean, she's talking more about Tupac than she is her own husband. You know, and then on top of that, you're lying about the stories. Can you can we get some Will Smith lies, bitch? Can we get some Will Smith romantic lies and fairy tales so we can feel better about you, Jada? Because this is just giving desperate, it's giving clout chaser. It's just not the look that you're going for. And a lot of people, six, and this is what's really got me surprised. A lot of people, women included, are not feeling Jada at all. You know, usually. Yeah. You know, the sisterhood would be on the woman's side, like, hold on, y'all, not too much on my good sis. Y'all don't know right. what Will is doing. A lot right. of these things are like, Jada, you're doing too much. Like, mm -hmm. nobody's feeling this. So, yeah, it, it, it did, unfortunately, get worse because Jada is doing way too much. And on top of that, it's looking like you're, you're lying and it's not adding up. Like, shame on you, Jada. And where is Will at? Will is nowhere to be found, just quietly, just taking all these hits and stuff and, you know, having a, a dead man overshadow him and his own wife's uh, life. Like, that's just, it's just tragic. I don't like you. I saw Will Smith on a boat looking like he was laying down for his funeral. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to find it. Will Smith was like, I mean, you know, every time and... What Jada fails to realize, this is the, her main issue that she don't understand. Now look at this. The main thing that she don't understand is that we like Will Smith. Yeah. Okay? Very Will likeable. Smith is an icon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will Smith is the Beyonce of actors. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Certain of our treasures, you cannot do this to. This would be the equivalent of Jay-Z squawking about Beyonce or mm. Pauletta Washington squawking about Denzel. What Jada fails to realize is just because you don't respect your husband doesn't mean that other people do not. And that's, that's why point. I think people are able to unanimously agree that what she's doing is not appropriate. When you have a man work so hard, especially as a black man, to right. build a name for himself, Will Smith has been consistent, one of the most consistent actors of our time. He has worked so hard to be consistent to build himself to what he is today. And the one that is sit there, sitting there undoing all his hard work is his own wife. Mm. It'd be our okay. own That's what Jada failed to realize. We don't fuck with you like that, okay? We like Will more. This is what Will Smith is doing right now. While Jada is on here embarrassing him, this is what he's doing. Fun fact about me. I can take him out almost anywhere. So basically, Will Smith about getting ready to jump off a boat. Okay. <laughs> so basically, what Will is doing while she's doing all this, now this man don't got on this little ass boat in the middle of the ocean getting ready to jump off. Okay. Will, don't jump. Don't jump. Don't do it, Will. Don't jump, Will, please. Don't go into the Titanic submarine, Will. Will don't do it. it. I'm about to just end it all. He looked like he's somewhere cold. Will, are you in Antarctica? Like, where are you? Like, she got Will in Poland getting ready to jump off a boat in the middle of the wintertime. Like, come on, Will. Don't do it. Don't let her do that. that someone said the boat going fast. Yeah, it seemed like he, he ready. Look, he thinking, should I jump? Will, please don't do it. But see, this is what Jada does not understand, honey. The reason why we don't like you, the reason why we want you to stop talking it's because your husband is a legend. Now, I'm sure Will Smith do his thing too. We ain't never heard about it. Ain't no bitches came forward like August Alcina talking about entanglement. We ain't never heard nothing. And if we ain't hear it, it didn't happen. 
The problem is all Jada stuff is always coming out. It's always on front page news. Yeah. And that's part of the problem. So now this is why I will forever say a man does not carry his own legacy. The woman, his wife does. Because yeah. as you can see, you as a man, you can do everything right. You can be consistent in your career, work your butt off. And then you can have everything taken away and overshadow if you have an ain't shit bitch you married to. You ain't lying. This is the power in your wife. It don't matter what you do. If your wife ain't shit, everything gets overshadowed. We will never remember Will Smith for his consistent, amazing acting skills. We will now always remember him for Jada and her shenanigans. Yeah, and Jada, she's the irony to it all is she's doing all of this to try to win public favor. Right. But all it's doing is making people look at you like you're the villain, like you're the one that is antagonizing this, your husband, you know? And yeah. so it's just one of those things where it, she just needs to be quiet, less is more. And I just, I, I, I don't even like Jada at this point. Like Jada used to be like the round away girl. Like you, we liked her. Yeah. She was pretty. She was cute. She seemed, you know, down to earth, edgy. And then like the more she started talking and trying to be more relatable and open up, the more it was just like, girl, be quiet. You know, yeah. and then to be exposed for all, for all, also lying potentially, yeah. that made it even worse. So now oh, really potentially just, she lying. Yeah. She lying. You think she lying? She, she, she gotta lying. be. She, she gotta lying. be. You're doing all of this for um to sell books so people can like you, and it's just backfiring tragically, Jada. Just stop Tragic. while you're behind. Stop while you are behind, ma'am. To me, this is what happens when you have a woman competing with her man. Like she don't know oh. how to. We ain't never heard Pauletta space be on none of. Denzel's tea. We ain't never seen Sabrina Elba spill none of Idris tea. Okay. That's a fact. We ain't never seen it. All right. That's it, a it, great it, point. That's a yeah. great valid point because Jada does have that boss chick energy to where yeah. you know, I have to be the one that is in the center of attention. I got to be the yeah. one that's, that has my own legacy and my own like I don't want to be in his shadow. So yeah, yeah, that's what she's doing. But again, that's it's just it backfiring. Yeah. That's what it is. She's in competition with him, sweetie. You can't compete with Will Smith. At all. When you're married to a legendary man like that, let it be. It's great when your man is better at shit than you. Yeah. It's great when your man is smarter than you. Yes. It's great when your man is farther ahead than you. That is fine. I don't know why y'all stay. I mean, would you want to be the smarter one? Would you want to be the stronger one? I don't understand that. Uh, you would think she'd be happy that her man is farther along. Yes, y'all are in the same career, but he is light years ahead of you and instead of you just accepting that and respecting it every time we turn around you're trying somehow to like overshadow him i don't right. i just don't understand that women don't know how to be be happy when your man is better than you at something yeah you get the rest exactly. let, him do that work. let him do that work girl and it's very admirable you know it's, it should turn you on as a woman to be like even if you 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 her and him are both actors i get that but there still should be a point where you're like wow like mm -hmm. he is killing it we mm -hmm. never had jada in no leading role she's always been a supporting actress okay so for you trying to overshadow will as wild, well, baby Thank you so much for the super chat, Malevolent Elephant. Not you spoiling us, darling. I'm gonna leave, Will. I'm gonna leave, Will. I'm gonna leave, Will. How does she do it? I'm gonna leave, Will. I'm gonna leave, Will. I'm 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 gonna leave, Will. Shout out to this sis, lovely tea. Shout out to this sis, lovely tea. Okay, love the good sis, but love her. You know. You, I'm sorry, but you're slow if you have a man that is a provider. Like what? Okay, so your man is 100% a provider. This is Will Smith, okay? He got the money. Jada does not have to work. She does not have to. You are his wife. You are entitled to everything because Jada, you ain't been working lately. So I don't know what your bank account looking like. You have a man that is fully a provider, yet you still think you have to exploit the man that is a provider for financial gain to sell your book mm, tragic so you just i mean you just hate him you just just say that 
But you, that's crazy to me. You don't need that money. Yeah. You don't need, you don't need the money. And but so how back to what you said. She wants to compete with him. She wants to overshadow him. She wants to outshine him. You was dead on the money with that. That's why she's mm -hmm. doing it. And you know what else? I want to know how the how do the kids feel about all of this? You know, they don't even know what they're doing. The kids, she's the reason why the kids are messed up now. She's the reason why. That's why your son don't know if he a man or a woman, don't know if he want to be with a man or a woman, and neither does your daughter. Really? Have you not? Girl, where have you been? I've been under the rocks, girl. Well, clearly you have. Right? Are you kidding me? So Jaden wants to be... Jaden Smith, one day he eating coochie, the next day he's sucking dick. No. Girl, yes, he was sleeping with Tyler, the creator. Oh, I did hear about that some years ago. Yeah, they was boyfriend and boyfriend. Then you got Willow. Willow don't know whether she want whether she a man or a woman want to be with a man or a woman either. Okay, and so now the, these kids are confused. They don't grow up seeing their dad do God knows what, seeing their mom do God knows what. Now they're unproductive citizens of society. They don't even know if they're coming or going. Damn. Mm hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's sad, and that's why you know. Some couples, it's like, listen, y'all better off breaking up. I think them kids might have turned out better off. They would have broke up than staying in the house, seeing up whatever weird stuff that happened because now they oh both God. messed up. When both the kids are messed up, it was the parents. It was the parents. Mm -hmm. Normally in a group of siblings, only one of them is the fuck up. But when all the kids are fucked up, it was you. Mm. Okay. It was you. It was the parents. Okay. The, the roles are definitely reversed uh, with both of them. And that's part of the problem. There's no mm. order. See, mm. this is the perfect example of what happened when a man had no order in his home. Mm. Now it's nothing but confusion, nothing but chaos, and a bunch of people not knowing if they're coming or going. That's tragic. So, now she's so desperately trying to make herself uh now she's so desperately trying to make herself seen make herself the star and it's not working and you don't got caught lying thank you for the super chat freedoms march says d's innocence is so adorable <laughs> did i miss any thank you for the uh super chat l says that's because women was always on Will Smith's side. It's probably a lot of these hoes waiting for him to leave her. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, super chat. Isaiah says, Jada's career would have ended in 96 if not for Will. Whoop, whoop. But instead of her being happy about that, instead she chooses what she chooses. I give up at this point, really. Uh -oh. And I heard that I don't have no prenup. Oh, yeah, because she definitely getting half for sure. Yeah. Um... She definitely getting high. I mean, it also really depends on what state they got married in. I don't know what state they got married in. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that Will's issue is losing the money. I don't. Yeah. I, don't I don't think it's losing the money that's his main concern. I mean, he no. will Smith. He'll get it back. I think his concern is, look how she's embarrassing him now while they're still married. Imagine what she'll do once they're not married. Imagine what she'll tell them. I think he stayed married to her as a form of, like, you know, protection well, of himself. Yeah. Probably, you know, um, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh oh, where'd it go? Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, hold on, I just not. Um, thank you so much for the super chat. Michael says, Willow wrote a letter to Tupac at 11 years old saying that she wished he would come back into her and her mama's lives. And Jaden, on the other hand, is just into all kinds of weird stuff. Jada and Will messed them kids up. They sure did. And I'll be honest with you. I don't know why, you know, really this is her way of shitting on Will is to just make it seem as though she had this other man that was so much better than him waiting to marry her. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all right now, Tupac was not going to marry her and stay married to her and be her baby daddy and be her husband. He was not. Okay. Uh, Tupac was going to fuck bitches and do what he wanted to do. Okay. But you let Jada tell it that she was the one that had Tupac ready to settle down and be a right. I get around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. He he was Tupac. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Will Smith was the one that stayed with you and made it have a girl. Tupac wasn't for the marry you and be with you. I, I, no. It's crap for me. No. And then for this white girl to expose you like this with the receipts. Yeah. Jada, just, just have 
several seats, ma'am. Like your your ultimate comeback is backfiring on you. So at this point, I think it's best for you to just sell the last of your little books and just be quiet. Fade into the background. Okay. Fade into black. And let's just hope that whatever little of respect that people had for you originally still remains. But this trying to throw Will under the bus so you can raise yourself up and make yourself be relevant and likable again. It's just mm, epic fail and ill. Epic, epic fail. Um, Hatch Dragon says his oldest son seems normal. Yes, he does. And I'm going to tell you now, I said the same thing when the Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation came up. When you try to leave your spouse thinking that you're going to do better, if you cheat on your spouse, if you abuse your spouse, listen to me. You are not getting better within the next person you get with. The next person you get with nine times out of 10 will be your karmic relationship. When you do wrong by somebody, when you play with someone, lie to someone, when you go against your word on someone and you break that sanctity of marriage, nothing good happens after that, okay? Mm -hmm. So Jada more than likely is Will's karmic love because your first Ooh. wife, you cheated on her every chance you could until she got sick of it and left. And that is why the oldest son is normal and why for the longest, he did not even get along with them because he knew, okay, Jada, he over here trying to, be booed up and ha ha kick in with Jada, but look how he did my mama. That's mm -hmm. why him and his oldest son was estranged for so long. And it is why he is the only one that turned out normal. Okay. And that should show a lesson. Stop getting married and thinking you can do your spouse any kind of way and think you can leave them and do better. It has never happened. There has never been a case with someone that abused a spouse, took them for granted, left and got a better one. Never. Mm. It's always your karmic neck. Y'all got to stop playing with marriage. Y'all be playing with it. Thank you so much for the super chat. Freedoms Mark says, why are certain women so resentful of a man being a provider and she don't have to work? Does she not understand that she has a certain level of freedom? Most independent women envy like a big dog, Ish, Ish is a uh, bass. I, I don't know either. I don't know. I, a man that provides is such a blessing. It really Honey, is. You ain't got to tell me twice to go sit down. Okay. Or happily go sit down. And my days are filled with Starbucks, yoga, and Amazon packages. I love that. I don't know why women do that. To me, it's she's totally out of touch with her femininity. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, it's masculine. It's the woman is afraid to be vulnerable. Um, maybe she doesn't trust the man. Maybe she's been let down. Daddy issues. I don't know. Drugs, crack. It's giving crack at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Herc says, as Johnny Taylor said, it's cheaper to keep her. Okay, especially when what's going to cost you the most is her running her mouth. Right. Not you spoiling us, Michael. You dog you. Michael says, Will divorced his first wife in order to be with Jada. Yes, he did. That's what we don't want to talk about. And his ex-wife is gorgeous. Their son, Trey, is the only normal one. That's why Will have the... Yep. Jada is his karmic lover. Same with Johnny Depp. Same with Johnny Depp. Amber Heard was his karmic lover. When they're going to learn, his first wife, she was very beautiful. They had a beautiful son. And he got a little bit of fame and started cheating up a storm. And I believe the same thing, Michael, that he was dealing with Jada. And I think that the minute the wife left him is when he called Jada. Like, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And he really thought that was going to be a happily ever after. Child, please. Child, please. Mm -mm. Epic L, Jada. Go sit down somewhere and think about what you did and do better. Okay. Because this ain't it. it. It is ain't it. At this point, Jada, your legacy is a mockery. People are now laughing at you. They're pointing the blame at you. Like you even have like, um, what's the uh, the guy who does the sports? He talks about the sports. Oh, Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, you even have him coming out, talking about her. Like everybody's coming out the woodwork. Like shame on you, Jada. 
people that have nothing to do with relationships nothing you know his his arena is sports and he like even he has to stand up and he is cool with will so like it's just it's not looking good for her i hope it was worth it jada uh it's not looking like it is uh six are you buying the book absolutely not we need to stop giving her attention <laughs> <laughs> like stop giving her attention honestly like i'm sorry I, I have way more respect for will than i have for her i'm tired of it i wish people would not buy the book and not give her pay her no mind because as long as everybody keep paying her mind she's gonna keep running her mouth mm. i'm not buying that book if she's if she start losing money with this maybe she'll shut up but you know what's so crazy everybody gonna buy that book because everybody wants to see everybody gonna buy it yeah. i saw somebody on a uh, line earlier today actually reading the book oh it's already out yeah it's out i guess you can pre-order it oh my god lord well she ain't never gonna stop at this point okay fellas please be careful be careful okay be careful who you get with as you can see it can make or break you and please respect the sanctity of marriage stop leaving your spouse and abusing your spouse and thinking oh my god i'm gonna go get better you're not Okay, y'all fail to understand marriage is a bigger picture. It's sacred. You cannot play with that the same way you play with everything else. It right. never work out for not one person. Not one person in the history of niggadom has had that work out. So you will not be the first. Okay, don't even try it. <laughs> I cannot. I can't even do This girl say niggadom. Girl, girl, just... Just throw the whole thing away, okay? Throw, throw away. everything away, Jada. It's not looking good. Will, I hope that you are in good health in mind because it it, it, it does look like he's just trying to cope. Like I, I see him try like trying to laugh things off and mm -hmm. you know be carefree. He's gonna jump. Yeah, it, it's giving crisscross. Jump, he, jump. Yeah, it, it's giving that. So I he hope he jump. is in a good headspace. But I don't know. I, I wish is. him well. I don't think he is, because I'm sorry. This is very taxing on your okay, mental so, health. Yeah, with everybody having an opinion about it, too, and then people that know you and that's cool with you. Yeah, yeah like, what does he do when he has to go in public? Mm. I know everywhere he go, including paparazzi, civilians, even his other co-workers, I know they're all sitting there like, imagine what happened when he walked in the locker room. You know right. what I'm saying? An awkward silence. Like, right. what do you say when you run into Will Smith? Hey, Will. Like, what's the what's say? the conversation? Like, how do you even talk to him without bringing that up? Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, damn, I'm sorry, but I know that has to be taxing on his mental health. I know it does. Everywhere he go, I know people are like, that's awkward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Now he over there in some icy place on a little boat. Like, mm. that's sad to me. You know what I'm saying? I'll be so freaking pissed if I worked my butt off my whole life like Will Smith and then I, I had to go hot on a boat in Poland in the yeah. cold to get a single ounce of peace and turn yeah. my notifications off. And that's a good point still to one. He says, uh, Will's an actor. He's hiding his hurt. So, yeah, he, yeah. he's very much so putting on his po poker face, unbothered face. I'm happy. And, yeah, I, I, I don't know. The energy that I pick up from him is very much so like troubled. I agree. Heavy. There's no way it wouldn't be. There's yeah. no way it wouldn't be troubled because who can really, you know, you can't sit there and do this. You can't you explain can't this and have it not affect you. Oh, it's going to affect you. Yeah. Like you can't even explain that. Like you have no excuse for it. Just like, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So mm, yeah. I don't know. I have nothing else for it. Me neither. Well, this was a good show. We've been it here was. a two-hour two hour show. We did good. We did good, y'all. Thank you for pulling I, up. We really appreciate y'all's support. You know, we're we kind really of changing do. the way that we do things on the channel. We love being able to interact with y'all. Y'all yeah. just have me die in the comments. Y'all yeah, really do. But we appreciate <laughs> y'all's support. You know, sisters like us do not get pushed in the media. They do not want us being pushed in the media. So thank you for the cash app, super chats. Thank you. You know, we're trying to get this monetization rolling, you know, get our sea legs on this channel. So we appreciate all the support. Can y'all please like the video? If you had a good time, share the video, you know, tell a friend, tell your cousin, sister, baby, daddy. 